Hey, hi, it's me! <laughs> Welcome back to Talk for 10, and happy Halloween. Uh, I'm holding a little fabric pumpkin that I keep in my car. Happy Halloween! I was actually going to dress up for my, um, like, with my costume for this podcast, but um, I'm at work, and that would require me to do a lot, and also my costume heavily focuses on the bottom half of my body, because I'm being a chicken, and so, like, the legs and stuff are really where it's at. So, yep, sorry, no costume for you, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I funny story, I came here with a plan, which doesn't really happen that often, but it's Halloween, so I thought, why not talk about Halloween movies? And the funny story leading up to this is that I actually semi-prepared, like these uh, are normally just like me ranting about whatever stuff, and I still am, but I, I sort of came prepared. So I wrote down um, 10 of my favorite Halloween movies and, or at least horror movies. They're not necessarily Halloween, but just like scary movies. And they're not ranked in any order. It's just 10 of them that I really like. And, um, yeah, so I wrote them down and then I came out here, um, to, you know, get my car and I realized halfway through that I forgot my list inside. And instead of turning around 20 feet to go get the list, I actually came all the way to the car and rewrote a new list, which has different movies on it than the other list I wrote, because I refused to go back. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate to this. I just didn't, I didn't want to go back. I was like, I'm already out here. I'm, I'm not going back in. It's too late. I, it's too late. We're not, we're not going back. So anyways, I rewrote a new list in my car on a napkin with some honorable mentions. And I just thought I would tell you 10 of my favorite scary movies maybe a little bit about them or if i have any special memories about them you know i thought it'd be cool so welcome to the halloween uh movie episode i guess you know and again it's not necessarily halloween because there is a difference between a horror movie and a halloween movie you know and they can be both and they can be either so i don't really have a list of halloween movies you know I have a list of like horror movies. Basically, I went to my letterbox and I sorted by horror and then I was like, oh yeah, that's right, I've seen that. <laughs> I'm sure there's some that I'm forgetting about because I haven't been using Letterboxd for a very long time, so I don't have everything logged in there. But anyways, let's start off. And again, not in any particular order, but there are some that, you know, I really, really like. Um, a Quiet Place, classic, pretty good. I saw that in theaters and I thought it was really cool because the theater was actually quiet. Like I've, I've never been in a theater where it was that quiet during a movie because everybody was like feeling it really good. I have not seen the sequels. I don't know if I care to, I just know I liked the first one. I thought it was really good. And that's, that's good for me. That's all I need. Um, ready or not. I fucking love that movie. I was so pleasantly surprised. That's the one where, um, a lady goes and gets married. And whenever someone in that family gets married, they pull something, they like draw a game that they have to play. And for the most part, they're all pretty, I don't know, harmless. But if they pick hide and seek or something like that, then it in like, then the family has to hunt her down and kill her or something, you know, like crazy shit. It was actually really, really good. And as far as, you know, like final girls go, one of the best ones, just absolutely loved it. Um, due to rewatch it, you know, um, the witch, the one that has, uh, uh Anya Taylor joy in it but from like a while ago. I didn't write the years these came out. Doesn't matter. The Witch is definitely one of those like eerie movies, you know? It gives me similar vibes to like Midsummer and Hereditary, but not on the same level, just the kind of thing where it's just a little bit like not always really actiony and not always really busy and just very eerie, like very um a little bit spooky, disturbing kind of thing. Really really loved it. That was great. Um, oh, and Midsummer, I wrote that on here. Honestly, Midsummer f fucked me up, you know? It was, it was good. It was really good. It's, it did its job. And when I rate movies, I am not a movie critic, okay? So don't, don't like try to compare me to people who actually study film. I just, I base it based on, I don't know, my own feelings about the film. And I would say that, is Midsummer my favorite movie ever? No, because it made me feel gross. But did it do its job? Hell yeah, it did its job. And it did a great job. Okay, Midsummer is a great movie. Um, here's a good one. Repo the Genetic Opera. <laughs> if you like camp, if you like um, gore, and if you like 
rock operas slash musicals, um, fucking watch Repo the Genetic Opera. And let me tell you, the cast in it, awesome. I'm pretty sure Anthony Head is in it, you know, who played Giles and Buffy. He is the dad in it, fucking awesome. The uh, teenager or the main character is played by Alexa Vega, who is in Spy Kids. And um, Paris Hilton's in it. You know, you know what? Watch Repo the Genetic Opera. It's fucking awesome. Um, I don't really want to give too much away, but basically, uh, somewhere in the future, people's organs start failing and like everything goes to shit. And so Gene Co. makes genetically modified organs and they can loan them to you. And then if you don't make your payments on time, they send the repo man to come rip the organs out of you. And then, you know, it's fucking great. Watch it. I love it. I'll watch it every year. I'll sing every song. Fuck yeah. Um, let's see. Jennifer's Body? Oh, come on. Jennifer's Body. It's so good, okay? I just, that's, that's it. That's enough said there. Um, The Thing, but the original one from, like, 1986? Um, come on. If you want to talk about special effects, we're going to talk about The Thing. So fucking good. Like, you, you can't, you really can't get that much better than The Thing. And, yeah, of course it's kind of goofy because it's it's older now you know like things look a little funky but it's still good like it holds up really well um let's see oh um blade i don't really see it as a horror movie but i might also be a little weird um i fucking love blade okay again the second one was shitty the third one was okay but not as good the first one amazing i love blade I'm very excited because I think Marvel's going to be making like a series or another movie or something like that. So I very much look forward to that. That's going to be so good. Um, 28 Days Later, that was like on the, the beginning edges of the modern zombie movies, you know? Like we had, <coughs> oh, sorry. We had the older ones like Planet Terror and stuff like that. But um, as far as like modern zombie movies, 28 Days Later really kicked it off for me. And I really, really, really liked it. Um, I've rewatched it again recently, and I don't know that I like it as much as I did when I first watched it, but it still holds up pretty well, and it's still worth watching if you like zombie movies. You know, it's it's pretty solid. Um, let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, the tenth one that I forgot to mention was Paranormal Activity. The first one, you know, very Blair Witch, very like home video. It's the one where they sort of like they're getting spooked so they set up like security cameras in their house and I those kinds of movies fuck me up like somebody I think my kid asked me should this they're like does gore bother you like can you watch movies that have a lot of gore in it and I was like yeah I literally don't care you know like if if I know it's a movie and it's not real you could make it look the realest you've ever made anything look and I will not give a shit because I know it's not real however <laughs> If you show me a movie like Paranormal Activity, where you don't actually show, like, the monster, but you just you show everything else happening, that really messes with me because that's how I feel when I'm, like, in a lake or something or whatever. Like, I, my imagination is so much scarier than reality sometimes. So the movies that don't actually show you the monster and you have to fill in the blanks, way worse for me. Good lord. Um, honorable mentions. Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> It's a shark movie. I watched it when I was a kid. I liked it. Um, I watched that before I watched Jaws, and so my shark movie education is based on Deep Blue Sea. That's great. Um, and other things I want to mention, two movies that super affected me, uh, even to this day, that have really, really, really shaped my psyche, and I probably watched them too early, but that's okay. One is Dante's Peak. It's about a volcano. Go look it up. Um, but after watching that, I painted volcanoes exclusively in public school. <laughs> like every art class, I was like, volcano, volcano. They're just, they're wild to me. They're crazy. And like, are there volcanoes near me? Absolutely not. I'm in like Southern Ontario. There's no volcanoes around me. I'm fine. The other one was signs, you know, the aliens with crop circles and stuff. Okay. Well, I lived next to a cornfield and, um, I was very child, <laughs> very young. And so... I was convinced there were going to be aliens in the cornfield. I also still to this day cannot look through like the crack of a door if there's like a light on the other side, you know, so you just see the strip of light. Because if I stare at it too long, I just think that I'm going to see something walk past, you know, and I'm going to see a shadow go by and then I'm going to go, I'm done. Aliens, aliens right now. Yeah, 
that's those movies yeah affected me i love scary movies i actually don't watch a ton of scary movies but i do like them um and i i think they're fun so yeah um oh my gosh we're past 10 minutes so i just want to say happy halloween um have fun trick-or-treating or you know going to a party or doing nothing or whatever you want to do but you know i hope you have a good day love you bye